Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow where I'm here once again with Nick from ASUS and we're gonna show you something that I think is really badass. What is this? Well, this is the new ASUS Transformer AIO. Now, not only is this thing an AIO though, it's a portable tablet with 1920 by 1080 resolution. And it's really cool. I could go on about all the features, but I know Nick here doesn't want to just sit here and look funny. So we're gonna let him talk about <laughs> some of the great things that are inside this thing. So let's go, Nick, talk about it. Sure, Elric. So like you mentioned, it's a tablet and there's a base station. So you have a full Core i5 PC or a Core i7, depending on the configuration that you want. And then on the tablet side, you got a Tegra 3, Tegra 3 processor inside and you're running 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. Um, so you're running pretty much the newest Android and the newest Windows 8. And what will make this the transformer is that you'll be able to still access the Windows from the base station when you disconnect the, lap the tablet uh, when you're on your home network. Wirelessly, right? Wirelessly. So. so check it out. You can pull this off, right? And not only when you pull it off, do you get to run the Android inside of your home or wherever it can actually connect, you can run your full Windows 8, which the touch screen and everything else, which I think that really does make it the transformer part. Yep. When I saw the earlier model with this CES, I don't think that that feature was actually implemented into it because it's such an early model, right? We weren't showing that yet. So we're using that, to make that remote connection, we're using a program called Splashtop and we specially tuned it and uh, worked with Splashtop and with NVIDIA since there's a 730M inside of the space station. Right on. Uh, to go ahead and tune that so you get a good, a good remote performance when you detach it. Now it's also an IPS screen as well. He's got an IPS LED backlit screen, 1080p like you mentioned. So it's really going to be as good of a screen quality as you can get and a behemoth 18.4 inch tablet. Exactly, a giant sized tablet. Now also, just like some of the other products, I understand that audio is very important aspect. So I understand the base has some special audio features in it as well. Sure. Some of our products on the ASUS products, you'll see them labeled Sonic Master. Um, that means that we've done extra audio engineering to give you um, one of the top of the line audio experiences for that product. So for all-in-ones, um, all-in-ones may not be known for the best integrated sound. We've put extra effort to go ahead and make you give you that good rich sound. Right on. Yeah, all-in-wonders that when they first came out, I don't think that really Intel quite knew the market how it would grasp it, but it mm -hmm. seems as it's changed, there's been all kinds of different implementations with this. Personally, out of all the IOs I've seen though, this one's the coolest because no other one I've seen transforms. They're usually the unit itself, everything built in, yep. and you can't change anything usually but the memory if you're even lucky to do that, right? Exactly. So this thing's really cool. So let's go ahead and let's pop the base off here. And we're gonna attach it. I'll have Nikki here fix the screen so you don't even have to. So right now, you guys can see it's running the Windows 8 through the wireless. So, yep, so as you detached it, it automatically made that connection through the wireless network to go back to Windows and give you access through Windows. So right now we're using the Windows from the base station, uh, but we're completely uh, well, wireless. And its own stand. As yep. you guys can see, it's own stand. It becomes its own thing. All the controllers and everything are right here on this side. On the back, you've got your own stand, so it becomes basically a portable monitor. And as you can see here, on the left side, or uh, on the right side, when you're facing it, you got a little blue button. You can go ahead and click that, and you'll pop on over to Android. Um, and if you want to go ahead and pop that, click that again, you can go ahead and pop right back over to Windows. So. Oh no, I mean that's just really incredible. Pretty amazing. Stuff. Yeah. I and think then on the PC, the PC station, we don't we didn't skimp out either on the PC station. You can see on the side where we've got it full of USB 3 connections, uh, media card readers, audio ins and outs. Uh, and the back side has an HDMI out as well. So And it's actually very well made. Yeah. It's not cheap at all. It's very sturdy. As I'm sitting holding it and pressing onto it, it's very sturdy. I it's think got power and uh, LAN in the back back here. Yep. You guys can see that over here. We've got the power and the LAN back here in the back of the unit. So I think what's really going to make this even stand out even more is that, say someone does want to take the tablet out with them, it does have the HDMI out. So you connect the monitor up to the HDMI out, you still have a full PC here, and you have a, a tablet on the go here. So um, you're saying you can hook up HDMI to this as well? No, just on, on just the base to, station. The so base you, can, station. Okay. you can run this as a dual monitor with this, with this tablet, or if you take this tablet on the run, this doesn't become useless. You can still attach a monitor to it and you still have your full. Oh, okay. I5, so I understand what you're saying here, folks. So I'm impatient on getting this. What he's saying that is, is this can actually double as your standalone PC. So say you've got a kid 
Mm, your kid wants to take this thing on the road to school, your kid could take this, use its Android function at school, and you could still sit at home and use this as your PC to surf the web, do all that stuff, right? Exactly. That's really cool. Let me see Optimus Prime do that. <laughs> but hey folks, that's pretty much it. This is the new Asus Transformer AIO, and you can see it transforms and has lots of cool features. If any of you guys want any more information about this, check out the link in the description below. Like usual, we hope you liked that video. If so, show us that love and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. Nick, thanks a lot, Dougie. Thanks for having Always me. Always love you having you here, man. Thank you.